If you want to make a concrete mold, you're going to need these products, Aeromarine Latex and Black Rubber Powder. I've already shown you how to make a latex mold. I'm now going to show you how to use our latex mold making rubber with our black rubber powder, which will help you get more out of your latex rubber. When you use the black rubber powder, you'll mix it one to one with the latex. Okay. So one to one means equal parts of both products. We're going to go ahead and dump the black rubber powder into the latex and mix it till it looks like cookies and cream ice cream. Our black, black rubber powder is made of reclaimed rubber, so it's a nice way to help recycle things. It also helps thicken the latex and reduces the cost of your project. Adding the black rubber powder to the latex will add more volume and make it thicker. It ends up looking like an Oreo milkshake. And once you get it to that consistency where everything is mixed in, you're going to take a paintbrush the same inexpensive throwaway one. You're going to pull the loose bristles out so that you don't get any in your mold. You're only going to apply a filler to your latex mold after you've done five layers, which I've already done. It's no longer tacky. I have my key right here that helps show me how thick it is. And you're just going to apply it exactly like you would regular latex in a thin coat all over the mold. I'm now done applying a coat to every surface of the mold. I'm going to take a clean paintbrush that I take the loose bristles out of again. And I'm just going to kind of wipe it around to make sure that it's even so that you don't get any areas that have clumps of it that don't cure. Now that I'm done with this layer, you can see that I got a smooth layer all the way around the part. I'm going to set it somewhere that it's not going to collect dust or get wet for the next four hours. And then I'm going to apply another coat when it's no longer tacky. Um, you can apply as many coats as you need to get it to the thickness you desire. If you remember yesterday, I showed you how to apply latex with black rubber powder as an extender for your latex. So it's had enough time to cure. All we're going to do is peel up the edges of the latex. Make sure that it comes off all the way around and then take it off of our original. You can just go around the edge to help pull it up. There you go. So now you have a mold that looks very similar to the original with great detail. The black rubber powder acting as an extender for your latex so you won't use as much latex. You can use this mold for things like plaster and concrete, and you can get Aeromarine latex and black rubber powder at aeromarineproducts.com.